My altar is calling in you, oh God. If I have a particular perfume I use, and I've been using that perfume for a while, and someone else is here, and maybe the person does not use perfume at all, does not even shave at all, bathes after six months, we both will come with a fragrance. Now, and <laughs> if you are here, be humble enough to ask people to tell you how you smell. There are people who <laughs> you almost know their name from their order. They have been so attached. They have been one and the same that even if your eye is closed and the person just comes to you and say, hi. The moment the person say hi, your morale will go low. Not, not because, listen, listen, I, I'm trying to help you. But be humble enough to want to find out. If somebody tells you that you have an order, don't be angry. You know, some of you are angry. That's why they don't tell you. Eh? That's why they don't tell you. So now we just finished talking about marriage. The day God now shows you the lady. Yes, God says she's the one. But your order says she's not. So when you go to her and say, the Lord is saying, <laughs> what she is thinking in her heart. If at the moment you say, the Lord said, she will now begin to have quarrel with God. Lord, do you hate me that much? Have I sinned against you? <laughs> so if we have two different people, let's say I'm the one who has not baited for, a, for six months and I've not shaved and everything and then Reuben has this very expensive perfume that he uses a lot of the times, okay? He, he's, it, is normal, it has become his trademark. You know that the moment Reuben passes this place, you will know. Even if you don't see him, okay? The moment I also pass, you will also know. Even if you don't see me because there is a trademark now, you see, that thing that we call fragrance, can it be seen with the eyes? Can you touch it? Can you test it? But what happens? You can do what? You can perceive. There is, while there are other parts of your system that can actually, that can actually um, confirm a particular thing, okay? This particular reality called fragrance or phenomenon called fragrance cannot be confirmed by all of those other senses as powerful as the eyes can be as powerful as your hands your, your feelings can be as powerful as your taste can be and your hearing can be all of these senses cannot pick the fragrance but there is one amongst all which is your smelling that has the capacity to know and then when you perceive it you know that I have perceived this before and I have perceived it over and over and over you know if you have you have you seen somebody for the first time for the first time but because of the fragrance that the person is wearing okay you you just have a particular attachment to the person because you know somebody who was very close to you before who was using something like that even if it is five years gone the question is how did you know it means that even your smell has a database yes in the same manner your spirit has a a a system it has a sense organ that if you begin to build, it is designed to be that which will be able to pick signals from God. But you see, if you don't exercise it, you will not master it. Listen to me. If you don't exercise it, you will not master it. So, God will begin to come with very little things. Very simple things. Very ordinary things. Things like even the things you wear. How many of you have had some few clothes you wanted to wear before? But you, there is a particular one you wanted to wear. But then all of a sudden, you didn't hear God. You didn't do anything. But you just knew that that's not the one you should wear. But you should wear another one. And even if you insisted that you wanted to, when you wear it, you will realize that you lose your peace. Everybody knows it is fine. 
Eh? But you, there's something in your spirit that is telling you that this is not what I should have won. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Now, you see, those things that are happening to you is your spirit that is actually taking you through classes. They are trying to train you so you can begin to understand because one day we come, eh? That while it looks like it is just clothes now, one day we come that it may be an aircraft. You think it's just ordinary things. One day you want to enter a bus and then he will say, don't enter. But you see, if you didn't master him then, people will now be asking tomorrow, oh, you're a man of God now. How could you not have known a man of God was driving one day and he was driving on the path. And while they were going, he heard, he heard it clearly in his spirit. Move left. No, move right. Yeah, he just ignored it. He heard it the second time. Move right. He ignored it. Why should I move right? The road was clear. The third time he heard it as a scream move right and out of that shock he went right the moment he moved right a trailer without control who had lost control ran into his path and then God now told him he said that's how you would have died and people would be asking me if I was not faithful hey.